So I came across an article, okay, Who, What, Where basically did a rundown of the top trends for autumn winter 2023 as per experts advice. Who are said experts? Right, so you've got Libby Page, market director at net porter Heather Ramston, head of women's wear at Browns, and finally Morgane Lacour, fashion expert and content editor at List. So, Together, these women and the author have summarised what we should be wearing in autumn and winter. I have gone ahead and handpicked a number of trends on the list because they had more than this and some of them I didn't really think hit like, oh, apparently black is a trend. <laughs> Come on! To say that the colour black is a fashion trend is truly like, wow, what a slow news day. That's just my opinion. So I've gone ahead and I've picked up the trends that they have picked for us. And I've also given examples of specific items that maybe, you know, to keep on the lookout for to get us set up for autumn and winter. Now, I know I talk about trends. I've just done a video on the fact that there are so many trends are there no trends, there's everything a trend, all of that. But I still find this stuff fascinating. And whether you're here to uh, get some inspiration on how to put some outfits together from what you already have, add to your shopping list and wish list, or whether you're here just to be nosy, everybody is welcome. Links to specific items will be below, or if you click view products on the screen. The first trend is back to basics. And this is something that we've seen throughout this year when these collections showed in February, we were getting a hint of this. For example, Gucci. Gucci, you know, Alessandro Michele is on his way to hopefully bigger and better things. Um, replaced by a new creative director. We're going to see his new collection in September, but the Gucci design team has sort of been leading the, the transition to what we are expecting of new Gucci, and that is very toned down. A huge focus on the fundamentals of an outfit. Fundamentals are the building blocks of fun. Let me know if you know that reference. We're seeing this in investing in more versatile pieces, the, you know, the t-shirts, the basics, the really great cuts and tailoring and all of that. Ferragamo was also, also mentioned in this Who, What, Where article, and that's another really great example. Everything that has been showed under Maximilian Davis is focused on precision and the cuts are just like phenomenal, the way that things hang off the body. Very simple, but really chic, really timeless, and not in a boring way that I would maybe associate with the row. I don't know, just my opinion. <laughs> Specific pieces also mentioned in this article are uh, coats by Kate. Kate is another one of those sort of like quiet luxury brands, but I sort of describe Kate as a sexy the row or like a slightly more exciting the row. No surprise that there's gonna be a focus on Kate Coates. Turtleneck dresses at Tove. Again, we're seeing things, these things are simple, but they fall fabulously. They look great, they look high quality. Saint Laurent as well. Um, their sort of stuff that we've been seeing in 2023 has really focused on these very simple dresses with their boxy, oversized, huge Uncle Festa shoulder coats and jackets that everybody went crazy for. These pieces are easily layered and you can make them pop with accessories. Oh my gosh. Okay, this happened to be just like what I was gonna throw on anyway, but you know, it demonstrates my point, okay? You can really go in on the accessories to bring something different to the to the outfit or the piece or whatever it is every time that you wear it. Guys, if you're new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> <gasps> Never. Speaking of accessories and how they can really carry a look, we are moving into chunky studs. Okay, studs with a bit of heft. I'm talking something that Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman would have rocked, an 80s style moment. Lest we forget the impact, and again this was mentioned in the Who, What, Where article, that will be linked below by the way, um, of Bottega's drop earrings. I have never seen such commotion over a piece of costume jewellery to this level, um, but also heavily duped. They went so, so, so viral. And there are so many examples of this that we're seeing throughout Autumn Winter 2023. 
Versace, right? Really big Medusa medallions on each ear. They look great. I'm sure that you can get vintage versions of these because they look so sort of vintage and fabulous. Ferragamo did uh, these like sort of cone shaped ones in gold and silver. There's a lot coming. And um, another example of this, this is just one thing that I sort of stumbled uh, on this weekend and it's now on my wish list. Jennifer Fisher does these puffed heart earrings. They're studs, right? And you can get them in silver or gold. And they're heart shapes and they're quite big. And I just love the thought of wearing, you know me, a t-shirt and jeans, something very simple, maybe like, like a little black dress, whatever with these earrings. They're fun, they're statementy. Those, those are my current number one choice. These sorts of high shine metallic costume jewelry pieces. The next trend is a trend that I complained about recently and then I sort of was intrigued and found one that I love. Clutches. <laughs> A clutch isn't going to go with every outfit, okay? It's a commitment. That is a that is a this or it's a that. Um, there is no, do you want to know what? My arms are tired. I want to be hands-free with them. So there is that aspect. But clutches are back in a big way. And it's no longer the little shell clutch that you wear, you know, as your plus one uh, as a wedding guest. We're seeing them in a much more casual way as well. Ones that can carry you day to night. And one thing that was mentioned in the article is that they're really sort of focusing on exaggeration and texture and bringing in those sorts of details, right? So if you look at something like Jill Sander, you're seeing XL, fuzziness, okay? But there's still like a little pop of hardware. Speaking of hardware, Givenchy is doing these little clutches that I'm very intrigued by because it's almost like a two finger pinch around it. And then there's this, again, this sort of hardware hoop um, giving a little bit of something to it against the, you know, soft leather. I'm interested to see those in person. As we know, we are seeing the comeback of the Gucci horse bit clutch under Tom Ford reissued um, for this year. That's coming back in a big way. I've got numbers for you. About 55% of Gucci's 2023 collections featured that clutch. So that gives you an insight into how much focus they're really going to be putting on it. Valentino, Clutches were the most carried bag style on the runway. Leather, okay, this was one thing that I sort of considered, do I really need to sit here and tell you that leather's in a big way for autumn, winter? But, because it, you know, you know that's sort of, it's, it's time to shine. But I think, especially with Bottega's very innovative use of leather, the jeans that look like jeans but are completely made out of leather, the tank tops that look like a cotton tank top but it's made of leather. And obviously, you know, we're gonna see the leather jackets, the leather coats, but we're seeing leather skirts at Proenza Schooler and leather dresses at Gabriella Hurst. Brandon Maxwell is doing these really fantastic sets. You can obviously buy them separately, but they look so good together. These like little sort of leather crop tops and matching bottoms and... So we're seeing it in different ways. Now, another thing is that one thing that we've been seeing a lot in spring, summer 2023 are 3D florals, roses, right? A little Magda Boutram moment. She's been really milking her moment as she should. This is your time, Magda. But what is coming in for autumn winter 2023 as per the experts are bows. So we are still very much in our quote unquote girly era. Simone Russia is a brand that very much embodies this. If you look at, you know, I'm sure if not 100% of the looks in her 2023 collections have been adorned with bows and those sorts of embellishments. If you look at Harris Reed's debut for Nina Ritchie, bows as tops, dresses with massive bows at the back. It was a very big focal point. Even Mac and Mac, their most recent sort of styles have been a court shoe with a huge bow with like embellishments on the inside. I really like those actually. Or a court shoe that is just fully made out of tiny, tiny bows. Tiny, tiny. It's a lot for the eyes to take in there. I also want to do this to it. Like I just want to sort of, you know, run my fingers through the bows. Um, it looks like a very sort of texturally fabulous experience. Now on the topic of texture, cozy textures are coming in. 
There is nothing more that we want to do when the leaves change, when a pumpkin spice latte gets on that Starbucks menu, when Mariah Carey starts dusting herself off in preparation for December, than feeling toasty. Oh, all of a sudden a cup of, a cup of hot chocolate sounds wonderful. Oh yes, let's make it too. And so the cozy textures we're really seeing in that way, shearling. Gucci, shearling bags, shearling jackets, Kate, shearling lined mules. Burberry is also doing sort of furry lined sandals. It's a lot that to, to take in. One of the looks that was highlighted in the article is the awake mode, just like top to toe, creamy delicious boucle moment. Oh my gosh, I want that whole look just, you know, on top of a warm drink. Slurp it right up. We're also seeing these in, in slightly different ways. A skirt that I think is going to be, I don't think it's going to go like viral or anything, but I think it's going to do quite well, is Prada is doing this little wrap skirt that looks like a little cashmere scarf with its tassels. It's cute, it's easy. You can see this with tights and a turtleneck, TN turtleneck moments, when the, when the weather cools down a bit. Buzzy hobo bags at Loewe. And the other thing is sometimes coziness in its most literal embodiment, okay? Wrapping a blanket round yourself, as per Coperni. The Retro also was just like, do you wanna know what? You need to leave the house, you want to be warm and cozy. What's that? Lying on your couch? Brilliant, blanket, thank you very much. Wrap it around, let's go. Thigh high boots, okay? Experienced a 70% increase in searches following the autumn winter uh, fashion weeks this year. Again, across the board, Fendi are doing the thigh high boots. They've got some like cutouts in the heel with a steer up detail, very fabulous. Etro, those look like they've sort of hacked the legs off a mythical creature with its sort of horned toe. Hermes, okay, they're in pretty much their entire, I don't know if I like saw a look that didn't incorporate these over the knee suede boots in a really delicious range of colors like all of the skims colors come to life you've got like beautiful mustards and cozy reds and beautiful chocolates and all of that those all seem to be healed though and they do have a sort of gray gradient heel like it starts off sturdy and then she gets skinny and then she attaches herself to the heel of the yep you understand and then you've got valentino doing what just looked to be a smooth supple leather over the knee boot reminds me of you know like the rick owens over the knee boots that really had a moment sort of circa 2015 shout out to them get yours out if you uh, if you've still got a pair bally bally was doing these in sort of smooth leather in suede in velvet with a pointed toe but um i actually found that article quite interesting because it's great to sort of see the insights from a buyer's perspective because really those are the ones that we see the most right as consumers and shoppers or whatever or even if you're just scrolling to your heart's delight the trends that they end up picking from these runways are the ones that we're really going to keep seeing the most so i really enjoyed it shout out to who what where excellent article but what trends are you looking forward to you can jump on the back of any are you all right you let me know i'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father if you've enjoyed it tell your friends if you haven't Keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.